to the angle of the body, which way we like, which angle makes them feel more comfortable and less threatened. How about the eyes? Do the eyes carry pressure? Ground your energy on the vertical, top of your head, sink it down into the earth. Contain your energy within itself so it's not pushing on them. And feel when your energy boundary hits their energy boundary. Are you there yet? Yeah, there's one that's, that's more freaked out than the others. Because just like us, animals have different boundaries and different sensitivities. And do you want to make them fly away or do you want to stop and then retreat and let them have their space? What feels good for them? I feel that they just, this is, yes, very nice. I was like, this is a more interesting game. Hey, did it be vertical, stayed in the vertical. Was only one freaked out a bit, but she was a bit startled because what's what you did, you the rest were talking to. See, this is a more interesting game where we listen to them and we follow their directions. Yeah, but these is different. These these are not harnessed. I know, these are wild birds, which is why it's more interesting, it's more fun. But the same principles apply. And this is a more interesting game where we listen to them and do what they want yeah, and then see, well, is there another phase to this game? Do they want to just enjoy their time on the pier and we enjoy our time? Or are they going to come over to us and begin carry on the game? He reads my mind. I was going to suggest he just sit down and chill out and let's see what happens next. So. We'll just see, do the birds want to play some more? Or did they just want to have their space and we have our space and just coexist peacefully on this beautiful day? This gorgeous ocean in Acromel, Mexico. We've been here about five to seven minutes, just chilling, hanging out. And you can see that one of them is now comfortable enough to lie down. They, which says, hey, you guys are trustworthy. I don't have to be on guard. I don't have to be alert. And you're good listeners. I wonder why he decided to come and join us. Well, he was over on that pier, and those guys started on that beginning, and their energy pushed him off. They were waving his feet the floor. But they did it right at the beginning here, so he had enough energetically. So he came straight flying at me and ended up here because he realized the energy is very peaceful. So the one that was the most nervous, Heli, shoved off the pier. <laughs> and joined our peaceful, chill out, hangout energy. Kelly, can you turn sideways so we can see your amazing beak? Can you show it to me? Oh, that's beautiful. Kelly, you don't like him there? No. Does he bug you? Yeah. Are you gonna tell him off?
Well, now what? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything about it. No, I'm not going to scare Pelly away. No, I'm not. Hey, Pelly, I know you love facing the wind, but if you could turn, okay, thanks. But if you could turn your whole body a little bit this way, so I could see you grooming yourself better, we could see you. Would you do that for us? Yeah, but then turn your whole body. And then the wind won't have your feathers going in the right direction. Okay, I get it. So we are, him and I are both facing the wind. So if he turns to the side, the wind is not going to go through his feathers as effectively. But I'll take that right there. Thank you so much for sharing your beauty with us today. I am sitting cross-legged on the pier, by the way. Pretty much full frontal facing them. Ian, as you can see, is angled away, but I'm far enough back that I'm not pushing in on their space at all. So this is really cool because Pelly has given us an example of, instead of a human coming in and invading their space, creating consequences and having a conversation. Pelly has done it. And the nervous one left right away. And then that guy on, the one who was upset, squawked about it, yelled for a little bit. They realize they can't really do anything about him. And he's, he's really staying in his corner. It's funny how everyone likes the end of the pier. Humans like to sit at the end of the pier. The birds like to sit at the end of the pier. What do you think Pelly's waiting for? Uh, just test us. He wants to play, you think? Why don't you put your camera down? Well, oh, that's no, that's no weirder. Now you're holding something weird. <laughs> We have to think of it from the perspective of animals who've been harmed or scared by humans. If humans are trying to grab an animal or shoot it or throw a stone at it, what are they doing with their body? What are they holding in their hands? And then we don't want to bring that body memory up in the animal. So Ian is standing, I'd say, about five feet away from them. So often as humans, we focus on 
getting the animal to listen to us and to learn what we're trying to teach them. We focus on training the animal to do what we want. But if you look at it from their point of view, that makes us really bossy and maybe even kind of a jerk. And I don't know about you, but that's not even someone I want to be friends with. So if we take that perspective to all animals, whether wild or domestic, and we say, hey, how about having this two-way respectful conversation? I wonder if that became our dominant MO on this planet, how things would be different. Finding their boundary, retreating, coming up again, finding it, retreating, and slowly getting closer and closer. And this exact same technique works with horses. There, Pelly, you could, even I could see Pelly was not happy with that latest one. And you can see, even right now, let's see if we can get him. Pelly's body is leaning away from me. And, See it with the camera? Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? Right, well, it's just coming underneath. There it is. There he is. There's a remora on his back. You don't think you're getting closer made the other two leave? No. No. Uh, I don't know. You're pacing, you're kind of restless. Yeah, I need to leave. Now. You're pushing into them. Yeah, you need to leave. There you go. Because you're bored of this game now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So be done with it. Back to the room. Yeah, because stingrays, pelicans. And then I would just walk backwards and you go, okay. I know that you're not here to have So one. you stay down that end. I just want to, so what I'm telling them is I don't need to get closer to you, but I would really love it if you could let me move the camera closer to you. So my body is angled away and I am not even looking at them. I'm looking at them on the screen. So I'm going to do what Cobra taught me, and I'm going to cloak my energy. I'm going to put a wall, just like this shimmering ocean, a clear wall around me. Oh, I just feel that so close to them. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me get this close. I'm not trying to tame you. I don't want to make you comfortable with humans. I want to say don't trust humans. You never know when someone wants to prove something and wants to get close to you and then lunge at you and grab you. I've seen that done. Beautiful, Pelly. Thank you. So that's not the conversation I'm having here. The conversation is not, look what I can get them to do and look how close I can get. I, I just... I'm really wanting to share their beauty and magnificence with you guys. And I'm still not looking at them. I'm just looking at the screen on my phone. I'm gonna try and look at them with my eyes now. And I have to turn my head to see Pelly.
can feel the little birds especially get agitated when I look right at them. Okay, thank you. Namaste. Kelly, are you gonna fly and show us how you fly? Now I'm just sending love and gratitude. The one that just flew away circled around and came back. So that, that, uh, I was way more vertical than in Spain. As humans, we think that we have to touch animals to experience pleasure. And, you know, petting zoos, right? We want to touch, touch, touch our feely, grabby hands. But if we engage in this kind of, I don't even know what you call it. It's, it's a combination of an adventure because you don't know what's going to happen. It's a play. It's a meditative Zen space sharing experience. And it's so satisfying. It's so fulfilling. I feel such a connection and such a deep love flowing between us and it makes me happy that what we've shared here today has been so positive for all of us. That was a beautiful session. I'm on the next pier over. And Kelly is still there. I'm here where we were.